Hey guys, teacher Mark here. Last week I showed you how to draw custom shapes using pen tool and this week we're going to do something similar but using boolean operations. So we will merge different shapes to get a new shape. Alright, before we start, keep in mind I'm posting two tutorials like this per week so if you want to learn more about Affinity Designer and Vector Art please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Here I am in the document in Affinity Designer. I got two shapes so we can try different Boolean operations. So let's select them all together and at the top you will see different operations. I can add them together to get one shape out of them. So two shapes merge into one. Let's undo. Next, next thing is like subtract. So the shape at the top will cut the hole in the next shape. Very useful. All right, what's next? We got some intersection here. So if I click on this, everything else will disappear. Only the intersecting part will be kept. Very, very handy. And this is opposite of that. X or interception. So everything else will stay. There is one more operation left. The last one will divide the whole composition. So we'll have separate shapes. Take a look. I can move everything separately now very handy. All right, so we went through all operations already. It's time to practice. So we will try to create six different shapes. Let me start with the first one. I will use triangle tool first. So we can set up one triangle. We can use move tool to move it around to scale it like this. All right, first shape in position. Now I need to duplicate this shape. I can just drag and drop while holding command on my keyboard. This way I'll make duplicate. I can rotate the duplicate, select both shapes same time and add together, create a new unified shape. And we are done with the first example. Next one look like shield. I'm going to use Pi tool. Pi tool here. I can modify the pie tool. The shape is like just one quarter of circle now. Let's bake this. So I convert to curves, rotate. I will put this in position. Scale it up using move tool again. And I will need to make a duplicate of this shape as well. I can right click on the layer and click duplicate. This is another way we can create a duplicate. Let's flip this and we're going to select both shapes again and this time we will intersect. So only the common part in the middle will stay. Take a look. Intersect. Perfect. All right, two done. The next one looks easy. So let's start with the circle. We got our circle here as the main shape and now we will use rectangle over here. Let me change a color slightly so we can see the position of the rectangle above this shape. All right. And now I use round corner tool that is built in into rectangle tool at the top. So I round my corners and now I will subtract. So I cut out the hole using that rectangle. And we are done. Three shapes finished. Three more to go. So here's some cloud built out of circles. So we add some circles here and there. And one more here. All right. Now we can unify all four circles. We can add them together to create a new shape. Done. And there are two ways how we can fill the hole, the gap below. Some people like to use rectangle tool, fill it like this and add this shape. But I use different method. Personally, I like to simply remove unnecessary nodes. So I using node tool, this white tool, white cursor and select the nodes inside and I hit delete on my keyboard. Bam! All unnecessary notes gone and we got this close from the bottom like this. All right. 
He's very interesting shapes. There are so many ways we can approach this one. Usually there's more than one way. Keep that in mind. All right, let's start with triangle again. This time we'll move the top to the left like this. Again, I will make a copy of this, flip it, and I will use the first operation. I will add it together. Now I can simply make a copy of this guy, flip it like this, position below, select both together. We will copy both of them. Com comment C, comment V, copy and paste. Now we can select all four and add together. We got one shape here. All right, and the last one. So we got kind of like two shapes joined together. Let's use Donut tool first to create this circle of the hole in the center. All right, adjust the size of the hole. So we got one donut on the left, one donut on the right. And the hard part is to kind of join them together. Normally, this one is at the bottom. If I move it at the top, this one is at the top now. So I can I always like cover the, another one. So what we need to do, we need to select them both and divide this shape. This way we can adjust the color of the small piece here separately. And we got this illusion of connection here at the top. All right, so that's how we use Boolean operations to merge different shapes in order to build new shapes. Add this to your workflow together with the pen tool and you will be able to create any custom shape you want. I will see you in my next tutorial.